we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you, not by our word and deed, not what we have done, not what we have never done. We have not done the will of our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are true, sorry, and unrepentant. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to our hearts of salvation. Let us come for his presence with thanksgiving and the grace of our shout with continual songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great people of all times. He can stand from the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills and hills also. The sea is his for he made it, and his hands have called it a dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Welcome to the day, people of hearts and tears. Psalm 6 and 12. reading from the book of Jeremiah. Woe is me, my mother, that you ever bore me, a man of strife and contention to the whole land. I have not lent, nor have I borrowed, yet all of them curse me. The Lord said, 
Surely I have intervened in your life for good. Surely I have imposed enemies on you in a time of trouble and in a time of distress. Can iron and bronze break iron from the north? Your wealth and your treasures I will give as plunder without price for all your sins. Throughout all your territory I will make you serve your enemies in a land that you do not know. For in my for in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. O oh Lord, you know. Remember me and visit me. Bring down retribution for me on my persecutors. In your forbearance, do not take me away. Know that on your account I suffer insult. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. I did not sit in the company of merry makers, and nor did I rejoice under the weight of your hand. I sat alone for you and filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unceasing, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? Truly, you are to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail. Therefore, Thus says the Lord, If you turn back, I will take you back. You shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall serve as my mouth. It is they who will turn to you, not you who will turn to them. And I will make you to this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail over you. For I am with you to save you and deliver you, says the Lord. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasp of the ruthless. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Thirteen. Glory to you, Lord. reading from the gospel according to John. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. And those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Eighteen. Splendor and honor be to our Thank you. 
our Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered from the conscious high, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of our Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord be with you, and also so with you. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, that we should see the truth of the Lord. Be at peace, O Lord, in all the world. Amen. Lord, keep this nation under your care. You gather us the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You save the heaven from all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. But no one will be forgotten. Create us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us with the Holy Spirit. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you, for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the church that she would be one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. For a deep spirit of repentance during Holy Week. For a return to the church, a return to faith, a return to God. For the Spirit to fill our worship. For the removal of the Anglican Communion, particularly the Diocese of Sabangida, Ora, in Nigeria, and the Diocese of West Tennessee, especially Grace St. Luke's. For our rich partners, especially Collierville Young Life, we pray your hand be upon the political stuff taking place today, Lord. Save us from the ongoing conflicts and the rising violence. Save us, Lord, from our our sin and turn all men's, all minds and hearts to you. Ministries of preaching, teaching, and healing. Bless our diocese and clergy gathering. Teach us the truth. Conform our hearts to the truth. And make us brave and faithful. We pray for your needs and concerns. Yes. 
Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to Him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus. 